Hey there, folks! Today's PBR battle is against Onion Gravy 64. Maybe you've heard of them. Uh, this is the second of two PBR battles we had. The first of which I use as my Pokemon Mosh Pit audition video. And by the way, they accepted me. I am a member of Pokemon Mosh Pit. I'm a Mosh Pitter. Whatever. And in any case, uh, but yeah, so that was a little cut battle. It was extremely close. I won by a hair, and I just couldn't believe it. And at that point, he was—he won another battle, and I was like, okay, fine, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we can have another battle. And he was like, can we do OU? I was like, yeah, let's just do OU. And I am going to be honest, I was completely emotionally drained from that first battle. So I can't say that I played as well as I maybe should have. Uh, but whatever. Anyway. Um, what else to say? Oh yeah, I actually, so his, um, PBR, his video recorder crapped out on him, and, um, during the battle, uh, during the first battle, and so I, the battles that, the versions of these two battles that went up on his channel are actually things that I recorded and edited for him, but can, you can consider the two battles that I've posted first to Pokemon, but now here, to be kind of di extended director's cuts. Uh, in the sense that um, they include things like these selection screens, which I took out of his just basically because why would he want to see my selections? Why would his audience want to see my selection screens? So anyway, um, lead off with Crobat. He leads off with Fortress. I'm doing some uh, predicting here. I taunted first turn. He protected. That's not great. Here I predict him to think that I'm going to taunt and just go for an attacking move. And indeed, he goes for the Rock Slide as I go for the Brave Bird. So at least I get off some damage on him. And now I'm going to totally continue the mind game. Yeah, he's got Life Orb. Really weird item for a Fortress, but um, was not expecting that, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to continue with the mind games. I'm going to predict that he's going to think that I'm going to attack this turn. So I'm going to I'm going to taunt this turn to prevent him from setting up rocks. Because, I mean, honestly, my team doesn't need, um, you know, but doesn't worry too much about rocks. But, you know, it's always nice to deprive your opponent of rocks. Um, so yeah, I've prevented him from setting up rocks. Now I can safely switch out with my Stella, my uh, beautiful little Crobat. And I've done a decent chunk of damage to him. I mean, it's not great, but it's not awful. So Crobat is going to get called back. And here I'm going to go ahead and send out my Jirachi. Now this is a Choice Scar physical attacking Jirachi. It has the Fire Punch, uh, and so that will be 4x effective. But he has a Heatran on his team, so I'm not 100% sure that I want to use it. Um, so he indeed withdraws and sends out uh, Charizard, actually. was not expecting Charizard. I actually go for the Iron Head, just to, you know, just thinking it was a safe move. Uh, it's going to be resisted by Charizard. Not going to be great, but I'm, but at least you know uh, I didn't get a Flash Fire boost. Um, it would have been Heat Trainer I'd gone for um, Fire Punch. So I'm going to withdraw Jirachi here. Send out Zapdos. Not sure what he, what kind of set he's running, but I figure Zapdos should be a fairly safe um, switch in. He goes for the overheat, and while I survive that, I do not survive that very well. And so this is not good for me. Um, and here, so I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm faster. Maybe you know he's at minus two. Maybe he'll switch out. Uh, I just decide to go ahead and roost here. The correct thing to do would have been to switch out probably into my Empoleon. Instead I stay in, and he's going to take me out, take out my Zapdos, who is a really important Pokemon on my team because it is such, it's uh, it's a physical wall, it's a physical wall uh, Zapdos, and it just would have been really nice to keep that thing alive for a little longer. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and send out my Empoleon. Really should have done that on the last turn, uh, although, I mean, really nothing I could have done with my Zapdos. I mean, Zapdos was with such low health. So here, I'm predicting him to switch out, and I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. He uh, pulls back um, and sends out his own Empoleon, so that's fine by me. I'm not sure what set this Empoleon's running, but um, I figure I'm going to get a chance to scout it out a little bit. So I get my Rocks up. That's going to be fine by me. I'm going to withdraw my Empoleon at this point, and I'm actually going to... Getting a little ahead of my... Okay, I'm going to send out my... Um, Umbreon. Now, for any of you who have watched my channel enough to recognize this Umbreon, this is the same Umbreon I use in Gen 5 on my Sam team. Um, it runs only one attacking move, and that's Payback. So I'm basically, um, I'm basically bluffing here and figuring that he doesn't want to stay in against this guy because he knows I'm so bulky. So here I go for the Curse as he switches out, and I really wish I hadn't gone for the Curse. I could have gone for well. Really, there was no good scenario here. I just wanted to see who he was going to send in. 
Um, I mean, I, just, I guess really what I should have done was go for the double switch. Um, but so now I'm going to have to switch out because there's no way I'm going to be able to take a plus... Um, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to take a close combat, even a plus one defense. Um, and uh, instead he goes for the sword stance, but I think my switch. This was an obvious switch, but I couldn't have done anything to him anyway because all I have is payback. Payback it would have been quad resisted. Even though Lucario is frail, it really it just wasn't a good situation. Um, here I'm going to predict him to switch and going to go for the roost. I know he probably carries the extreme speed, but maybe it won't KO, or maybe he'll predict something else. And no, he goes for the extreme speed. He's at plus two. That is going to take out my Crobat, and so I've, now I've lost two kind of important physical walls. Not not a good situation for me. Um, so now I consider who to send out, and I think, well, I just don't know. I don't want to send out Jirachi. Uh, even though Jirachi is scarfed and has Fire Punch, I just really should have sent out Jirachi. I didn't. Instead, I sent out Mamoswai. I'm thinking, well, maybe he will predict me to do something weird. Maybe he'll predict me to be scarfed. Um, or maybe, uh, and so he'll want to switch out or something. No, I'm banded, and he's going to go for the close combat, and that is going to obviously one hit KO. My oh yeah, he gets a crit. I doubt that crit mattered. I mean, it's super effective and. Uh, you know, Mammoth Swine is bulky, but it's not that bulky. I mean, come on. So, yeah, bye-bye, Mammoth Swine. Completely wasted. And it's at this point that I realize that, oh, yeah, I have Jirachi. Jirachi has Fire Punch. It's Scarfed. It resists Extreme Speed. That would have been the wise move to go for off the bat. So now I send out Jirachi, and maybe, I'm thinking maybe he thinks I don't have Fire Punch, so I'm going to go for the Fire Punch here. Uh, and he stays in, which is excellent, and I'm going to one-hit KO, not a problem at all, considering he is at minus one defense, and you know, he's frail, and it's super effective. So now he's going to send out Heatran, knowing that I'm going to have to switch, uh, and that's not a great situation for me. Now, I don't, I am not sure what his item is. Um, I, I'm not sure if he's scarfed or whether he's a bulkier set. I send out Mick basically to scout it out, uh, he goes for the Fire Blast, it's going to hit, and it's going to do slightly less than half. So I'm thinking, maybe I can stall him out with some uh, with some nice Moonlights? I don't know. We're going to have to see. So, yeah, I go for the Moonlight. Uh, I'm not seeing any leftover recovery, so it appears that he's Scarf. So this is a Scarf Heatran. I Mix survives on barely any HP, but it survi he survives. I have the Lumberry, so I wasn't seriously worried about Burn or anything. Um, and I think the odds of him missing are about equivalent to the odds of him burning me. So yeah, he goes for another Fire Blast, and I'm just gonna, you know, stall him out. He only has 8 TP's worth of Fire Blasts, so I know that, you know, he's gonna run out of Fire Blasts just before I run out of Moonlights, and that's also assuming that none of his Fire Blasts miss. So here his Fire Blast does indeed miss. Great situation for me. Um, I'm going for another Moonlight this turn to get back up to full HP, Again, great situation. Now I can choose to do something else. I think I'm just going to go for the curse. Um, just basically, you know, I'm not going to be able to do anything against Heatran at plus zero, but given enough time, I can probably get to a decent attacking range. Out now is going to come his Fortress, and I'm thinking, well, maybe he thinks he can resist me. Maybe he has X Scissor, uh, but I am at full HP, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Payback. Really, the thing to do would have been good to go for Moonlight, because in retrospect, this move was completely obvious. He goes for Explosion, uh, and now I am at plus one defense, and I am actually going to survive this hit with barely any HP, but I do survive, and had I gone for the Moonlight, it would have completely screwed him over, but now I am easy pickings for uh, revenge killing. So yeah, my Umbreon did its job, it's actually done a pretty impressive job, I gotta say. Uh, now his Empoleon's gonna come out, and my only hope is that he's gonna go for Hydro Pump and it's gonna miss. So I'm like, come on, come on, miss the Hydro Pump, miss the Hydro Pump, miss the Hydro Pump. And so I'm just gonna go for, I think I go for Moonlight this turn. I definitely go for Moonlight this turn. Uh, he goes for Ice Beam, 100% accuracy. At that range of health, there was no chance my Umbreon was gonna survive. So, great job, Mick. Oh well, too bad. As I said, I really wasn't playing that well on this battle. There's a reason I, ha I haven't... Uh, even contemplated submitting this to Pokebox, or sorry, to Pokemosh Pit or anything. Uh, I mean, this isn't a very good battle. Uh, but, you know, hey, I figure 
I'm narrating on top of it. You guys love the sound of my voice, otherwise you probably wouldn't be subscribed to my channel. So anyway, I send out Empoleon, it's going to be Empoleon versus Empoleon. Um, he's faster, I'm hoping that means that I hit a little harder. Um, and we're hitting about the same, and I do the calcs and I think, okay, after one more Grass Knot, I actually might be down into an, within Torrent range, so I'd be better off going for a Hydro Pump, even though it's uh, two X resisted instead of neutral. Um, so I go for the Hydro Pump, it misses. That's really a shame, uh, and indeed, let's see, looks like I'm actually a, a little bit higher than Torrent range anyway, so I really should have gone for that Grass Knot. Hits me again with Grass Knot, now I'm definitely within Torrent range, um, and my Hydro Pump misses again, and that's pretty lame. Can't say I'm too happy about that, but so I'm going to go ahead and switch out Tux here, predict him to go for the Grass Knot, and Jirachi is really light and also resists Grass Knot, so I'm thinking, okay, that move is going to do nothing to me. And indeed, as you see, it barely registered at all that it did any damage. So now he's going to retreat. I really wish I... Uh, at one point I had Thunder Punch on this Jirachi. I don't right now. It would have actually been kind of useful right now. Um, especially considering it would be neutral against Heatran. I go for the Zen Headbutt. Um, it's gonna hit him. It's not gonna do very much. Now, I know that he's Scarfed, but I'm Scarfed as well. Um, and Jirachi has base 100 speed, so this next thing completely and utterly flummoxed me. He actually outsped me. Like, how is that possible? So it means that he's running a timid nature, I guess. Uh, and I have not properly, it's not even that I haven't properly EV trained, I don't think, I mean, this this Jirachi predates when I learned to RNG, so it's got flawed stats, and even so, I can't really wrap my mind around the fact that he's outspeeding me. Now, it's actually a speed tie. Uh, we both miss our moves that second turn. Uh, he is going to go ahead and KO me this third turn with Fire Blast, and that's just, that's just peachy. I mean, that. Oh well. I'm now down to my last Pokemon, which is Empoleon, but I'm thinking, you know, I haven't shown him that I have Aqua Jet yet, maybe he's thinking he's going to outrun me, and so I go for the Aqua Jet, and at least I'm going to get a third kill. So uh, uh, Tux goes for the Aqua Jet, boosted by Torrent, 2x effective, Heatran is down, and now he's only got three Pokemon left, but I have no health left to speak of. Uh, I'm easy pickings for whoever he decides to send out, um, and indeed he's going to end this match with a mirror match. He's going to send out his own Empoleon. I know that he outspeeds. I'm just going to have to go for the Aqua Jet just to get a little bit more damage off on him. Uh, really, maybe I should have gone for something else and predict predicted him to miss, but in no scenario was I going to win this. So, great game, Onion Gravy 64. Um, yeah, that's about it, folks. Um, I've got 20 seconds left in this damn narration. Uh, so yeah, so basically I've got three more PBR battles that I'm going to be posting uh, for the rest of the week. These are battles that weren't good enough to be submitted to Pokemosh Pit. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, folks, and so long.